Uttarakhand's Pori Garhwal region is among the many picturesque areas of the state. It is also one of the most dangerous. In the interior, not so well-known villages and small towns here. Men, women and children live in perpetual terror of man-eating leopards. But it isn't only these wild cats that are pushed to human flesh in their battle to survive. Uttarakhand holds 11 elephant corridors, which act as routes for these non-territorial creatures. Often, in search of greener pastures, the elephants cover vast distances across the state. For thousands of years, the elephants of Uttarakhand have been moving from Corbett National Park to the adjoining Rajaji National Park in their time-honored journey. But today, their passage lay ruptured at several points. It is becoming increasingly difficult for elephants to carry out their journeys peacefully. Man-animal confrontations in Uttarakhand lead to several human casualties every year. But most deaths are caused by leopards. It is believed that in the last five years, more than a hundred people in Uttarakhand have been killed by leopards and several others injured. Many attacks take place in the far-flung, inaccessible regions of the mountainous terrain and sometimes go unreported. Shrikant Chandola, the chief wildlife warden of Uttarakhand, candidly admits the severity of the situation. But why point fingers at leopards alone? Humans are equally to be blamed for the situation, he says. Usually tigers don't enter into direct uh, damage to human life. Not normally. It's quite a problem. We had six deaths in this winter, just the last winter. But that was unusual. It was quite unusual. And definitely we have not only a very high percentage of damage to human life by leopards, we have the highest damage to human life in the entire country. In by leopards? State. Yes, sir. We lose almost something like 25 to 30 persons every day, uh, every year. One straight, simple reason for man and conflict, man leopard conflict, Gadwal and Kumayi We don't really have much prey base left there due to maybe cultural reasons, maybe due to a lot of fire happening here annually. And it becomes all the more difficult for us to maintain the healthy populations of leopards in the state. The quest for the man-eaters moves thousands of kilometers across the Pori and Tehri areas of Uttarakhand into the interior regions where people live in fear. The journey begins at Rudraprayag, the confluence of the Alaknanda and Mandakini rivers, and where Jim Corbett famously killed a man-eating leopard in 1926. Corbett's classic memoir, The Man-Eating Leopard of Rudraprayag, details the hunt for the elusive leopard. Over 80 years ago, Jim Corbett killed the widely feared man-eating leopard. But man and leopards still trespass on each other's territory, and often tragedy follows. To this day, reports of leopard attacks keep emerging from Pori and other areas of Uttarakhand. The village of Jaigao is home to about 60 families struggling to make a living on the harsh, hilly terrain. For 10 years, the village has braved leopard attacks. An eight-year-old boy is literally snatched from his mother's hands. An elderly is playing with his granddaughter when a leopard bounces on her and vanishes with her. Living in the shadow of the leopard has taken its toll on the people of Jaigao. 
Since 2008, a number of families have reportedly moved away to other areas of Uttarakhand. Residents of Jaigal say these people abandoned their homes to escape the leopard attacks. Outside of a village, school-going children are the most vulnerable to attack. These children will have to walk four kilometers to reach the safety of their homes. Even trapping a man-eating leopard has its problems. Mainly the problem of what to do with it. Most zoos in India have a surfeit of leopards. Issuing permits to kill a man-eating leopard has its own share of problems. It is estimated that for every man-eating leopard killed, three innocent leopards die. It's no wonder that the struggle is spiraling out of control. away, a different struggle is taking place in the forests of Uttarakhand. Corbett National Park is synonymous with the tiger and with good reason. The Indian wildlife faces a major threat at the hands of the poachers as it fetches a high price in the international market. Jim Corbett, the legendary hunter-turned-conservationist, shot most of his man-eating tigers in this region. Even now, Corbett National Park is one of the best places in India to spot wildlife. But it isn't just the tiger that takes sanctuary at Corbett National Park. The elephants of the region have a historical passage which takes them across the forests and fields of the Rajaji Corbett Belt. These migratory animals have created this distinct age-old route of travel. Today, the route is dissected. There are many reasons. The mushrooming of towns and cities in the area. Felling of trees and by highways and a railways track that cut across the route. These road signs consistently and strategically acknowledge the elephant's right of way. But too many circumstances are now crippling their path. Between Rajaji and Corbett, what you'll find is the elephant habitat in this area has been confined to a, a very narrow strip of land at the foothills of uh, Sivaliks and the outer Himalayas. And what has over the years, due to development like uh, villages expanding or construction of road or railway line or uh, national highways, this uh, uh, your corridor has been fragmented. So there's a lot of problem for the animals, the elephants to move in this area because earlier there was a Tarai zone where they could go and they could travel from one place to the other place. And nowadays, since the Tarai has been usurped by the people for agriculture, the land, they can use only the Bhavar land and all the foothills for going across. The field director isn't exaggerating. Uttarakhand is the northwestern boundary of the elephant country. 
and a look at the crucial stretches of the elephant route across the state is bleak. The scenic Corbett Kotwar route is one of the lifeline for the marching elephants and situated a few kilometers from this route is the small but populous town of Kurtwar. Step out of Kurtwar's boundary and the forest envelops you without warning. A few kilometers away, on the route to the cantonment town of Langstown lies one of the most important sections of the Elephant Corridor for elephants moving between Corbett and Radhaji National Parks. One of the most important sections, which today has shrunk to a narrow strip of land. If this corridor is blocked, the age-old elephant route will vanish. This stretch is, therefore, crucial to the survival of Uttarakhand's elephants. The burgeoning urbanization in Uttarakhand is bringing the elephant's march to a halt. At the same time, the leopards are finding themselves at the tender mercies of poachers. Lakpat Singh Rawat is a school teacher from Gersen, but he is not just that. Whenever a leopard is declared man-eater by the forest department, the first attempt is to catch the animal alive. But when the officials fail to trap the leopard, they approach Rawat. He is one of the few designated hunters of Uttarakhand, authorized by the department to shoot down man-eating leopards. Lakpat Singh Rawat has an astonishing record. In the past 10 years, he claims to have killed 39 man-eating leopards. In 2009 alone, he tracked down and killed 12 leopards in the district of Pori. Lakpat's words ring alarmingly true. Encroachment of forest tracts and vanishing prey base over the decades have shrunk the leopard habitat and body. This seems to have brought the leopard dangerously close to human settlements. Hours after interviewing Lakpat on the way to Bori, two leopards are seen on the roadside in quick succession. headlights and the rumble of the vehicle leave them unmoved. is none of the usual quick responses to flee. of Uttarakhand too are passing through an existential crisis, but of a different kind. Elephant expert Vivek Menon says it's true that at least in Uttarakhand, the odds are stacked against the elephant. This is mainly because humans have not really understood the plight of these gentle giants, points out Menon. Once these four biological factors are in place, a big 
Therefore, it's a nomad, it's intelligent, and it's social. You understand an elephant, then you will realize that if it has to be a nomad, it has to move from one forest to another for food, then it needs paths to migrate. Now, you can define elephant corridor as those paths, those narrow strips of land that connect that habitat from which the elephant needs to move from one to the other to survive. Once the elephants cross over to the Cote Dwar forest range from the elephant corridor of Tut Kathera, their problems remain. A railway line passes through Rataji National Park, a major obstacle for elephants on the move. The state highway between Haridwar and Rishikesh also neatly bisects the park, forming a barrier to the road to freedom. Road signs shout out warnings to drivers to look out for elephants crossing. But this highway sees thousands of vehicles every day. A road sign can only go so far. In the face of so much traffic, it's impossible to imagine large lumbering animals making their way to safety. The, the connection between Rajaji and Corbett, according to me, is the most critical one for elephants of Uttarakhand. There are others as well, but if Rajaji can be connected to Corbett in a simple layman's perspective, the elephants in Uttarakhand are safe for the next 100 years. But as critical as this is, containing the fragmentation and urbanization of land seems like a distant dream. Both the elephant and the leopard are scurrying for cover. But the problem is, there is not enough forest left for them to find a safe refuge. Flesh is not its natural food, but necessity has brought the leopards of Pori closer to civilization. Jungle, जो मतलब वास्तविक जंगल है, जो वास्तविक जंगल है, उनको तो इंसान ने काट दिया, और अपने घर के नजदीक, आपने अभी भी सभी भी देखा होगा, घर के नजदीक बिल्कुल नए जंगल बना दिए, तो हमने उसके आवास को तो छिन मिन कर दिया ना, और उसको आवास अपने बस्ती के नजद a study by the Dehradun-based Wildlife Institute of India paints a frightening picture. Leopards in Uttarakhand largely depend on dogs and cattle for food. The near domestication of what was once a lonely, proud animal of the jungle is one of the most saddening outcomes of encroachment. In the age-old battle of survival, man is pitted against animal, and neither can win. In Jaikal, it's the leopards preying on humans in a desperate attempt to live. In Corbett, the elephants are getting angry. And there is a lot that an angry elephant can do. city of Rishikesh, an angry elephant turned rogue and crushed a couple. It took the forest department over three months to capture the elephant. And now, in several regions of Uttarakhand, the usually mild elephant's patience is being tested again. On the outskirts of Corbett Park's southern boundary, lies this nondescript village of Seymal Khania. For the 
past several years, people of Samal Kanya claim that they are at the receiving end of repeated elephant attacks. As the sun goes down over Samal Kanya, the villagers wake up. Throughout the night, they struggle to save their crops against these intruders. have legitimate concerns, but so do the elephants, and so do the leopards. Jim Corbett described it best in the concluding chapter of The Man-Eating Leopard of Rudra Prayag. Here was only an old leopard, wrote Corbett. The best hated and the most feared animal in India was only crime, not against the laws of nature, but against the laws of man, was that he had shed human blood with no object of terrorizing man, but only in order that he might live. Elephants walk the razor's edge in Uttarakhand, pushed by their sole intention to walk the path that they have walked for generations. The leopards too are finding themselves pushed to a corner. Until the scales balance out in the lush beauty of Uttarakhand, two sets of majestic animals will continue to live in uncertainty. <laughs>